man was walking in his farm. He heard a voice from the sky that told him to pick some stones from the farm and go to his house. In obedience to the voice, he picked some stones, put them in his basket, and went to his house with them. When he got home, something amazing had happened. The stones had turned to gold. He started rejoicing and celebrating. But shortly afterwards, he started crying and weeping. Why was he rejoicing and celebrating? He was rejoicing and celebrating because the stones he picked from his farm, which were worthless things, are now gold, a precious, expensive, and costly valuable. But why did he start crying and weeping afterwards? If he had picked more stones, he would have become very rich because he would have had more gold. What are the lessons from this story? The first lesson from this story is that what you know and what you did with what you know brought you to where you are today. What you know and your efforts of the past are responsible for the success you enjoy today. Your present success is limited by your knowledge and efforts of the past. If you had learned more things and also made more efforts in the past, you would have been at a better position today. By this token, the knowledge you will acquire and the efforts you will make with the knowledge will determine the future that awaits you. This is another lesson from the above story. Another lesson that is also implicit in the story is that what you know does not add value to your life if you do nothing with it. Consequently, what you know does not produce any results in your life without action or effort. The man in the above story would not have had any gold if he did not go home with some stones. The efforts you make with what you know determine the value what you know adds to your life. There is no difference between you and the people who do not know what you know if you do nothing with what you know. Francis Bacon says that knowledge is power. However, this is wrong because according to Dale Carnegie, knowledge is not power until it is applied. Knowledge is useless until it is applied. If you honestly desire a better future, you should not waste your precious time regretting your mistakes, failures, and missed opportunities in the past. Rather, you should always ask yourself what you should know in order to achieve what you desire in the future. You cannot succeed with what you do not know. You also cannot succeed above what you know. Knowledge is like a ladder. Just as the length of a ladder determines the height it takes you, what you know determines how far you will go in life. You also cannot succeed without efforts. In other words, there will always be a correlation between what you achieve and the efforts you make. Consequently, you should acquire more knowledge and also make more efforts if you honestly desire a better future. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, you should click the link below to subscribe to this YouTube channel 
If you like watching educative and inspirational videos, you should also turn on the notification bell so that you will be informed whenever a new video is published in this YouTube channel. I hope to meet you again in another video in this channel. Thanks for watching.